Yeah, I have a question from Aqua Keys, and basically she asks, if you believe that you are connected to Source through your crown chakra, and you don't know anything about the pigeons and them eating your energy, are you connected to Source? <clears throat> and I didn't type this answer because it does get into an area that y'all need to know about, and that is that Humans are kind of, because because you were involved in this game of going into the lowest densities, and you've been into 3D before, and you're in deep amnesia, coming out of it when, when a human intends something, they're really bad um, at focusing energy to get anything done, okay? Because of your deep amnesia, and this belief system that has been put into you that you're nothing and you're worthless and you're not not good at anything and you'll never be good enough all of that is squished off the energy that is coming from source okay so because there's so little energy coming from source that's all you've got to use that's all the energy that you've got to use to be a creator god here okay is the energy that you're getting from source from the all it is, from who we are. That is the reason why there's so much energy um, vampirism, okay? And everybody does this. Everybody has um, taken energy from other humans. Everyone has. Everyone has. If you seek, if you seek, or if you've ever seeked, is that a word, seeked? Um, reassurance or um, a pat on the back in any way shape or form that is taking energy from that person it, it can also be uh, taking energy from a group uh, so if you are looking for an A from your teacher and that teacher gives you an A you are pulling energy from them now what happens is if if you get an A then that teacher goes, I am a good teacher. Uh, this is this person is getting an A. So they take energy back from you as well. Most of the time there is not an equal exchange of energy. But people just go around and have because you don't have enough energy um, to get what just basic stuff done. It doesn't feel right. You need more energy. And since people are in amnesia and they don't realize that within themselves is that ability to call on endless amount of energy, more energy than you would ever need to create anything you want to. But because it's all squished off from that high heart coming from high heart, you don't have very much to work with, okay? So when I say go through the high heart to get to source, that is because that is the absolute most direct route. Now, if you had... Um, it's kind of a catch-22. If you had enough energy to state the intention that I'm going to connect to source through my, my um, crown chakra, and if you had the energy to bypass the beings that are in the fourth dimension who have a lot more energy than you do, could it be done? Is it possible to do that? Yes, it is. However, you in human form, in the amnesia that you've got, do not have the energy to make that bypass happen. You will be intercepted by um, the beings that are in the fourth dimension. If you connect to the high heart, if you go through the high heart and you're aware of it, it's like there's no time space. Okay, There's no space in between your high heart and source for them to get to you. If you go up through your heart, head chakra and your crown chakra, you are going up through time and space. You're saying it right off the bat. You're saying, okay, I believe that it's going up. Whereas the high heart is, if you go through the high heart, it's just there is no up or down. Um, there is not even sideways. There is high heart source. They connect instantly with nothing in between. If you go up, then you are immediately believing in higher 
going up through your your uh, crown chakra you're going up and therefore there is room for them to interject and they have a lot more energy than you do they've got a lot less amnesia they're still in amnesia but they've got a lot less than you do and they've got a lot more energy than you do so when I say, if you want to continue to keep the chakras, then do so. Please, if that's what works for you, then do so. But I'm trying to explain to you the safest, quickest, best way of getting something done. And since you have so much to do, and most of you have such little energy to work with, until you get that energy flowing where you can get more done, it's just safer, more efficient, more effective to go through the high heart. But as I said, is it possible to connect to source through a, a uh, crown chakra? If you believed it enough, if you believed it enough, if you had enough energy to be able to do it, you would be in less amnesia and you wouldn't do it. Uh, you would just know that it was more effective to go through your high heart. So it's kind of like, well, if you get to the point where it would work, you wouldn't do it because you would know that that would be silly. You just wouldn't do it. Okay? So hopefully that answers that question. And she has another uh, energy exchange in crystals. Is there an energy exchange between humans and crystals? Oh, yeah. Is there a energy exchange between human and crisp and crystals not really uh, not the way you would think of it um, like a human to human humans take energy from other humans and uh, whether they know it or not they give their energy to other humans as well uh, and it goes back and forth when you're dealing with crystals or animals or anything that's uh, directly related to Gaia it's more a a knowledge exchange it's it's more of them uh, a, a teacher it's more of them reminding you when you and it's easier to do this with uh, uh, with an herb than it is with a crystal so I'll explain it with if you're using an herb so let's say that you take an herb but you know that this herb um, gives your head more more clarity okay when you take that herb you don't need to take a lot of it any herb that you are dealing with you just need a tiny amount you don't need much at all and what happens is there's no taking of energy from that herb there is a message that goes into your body to remind your body this is the way you do this so that you can think better it's it's knowledge based the same thing is true with crystals. When you hold a crystal, it's giving you information, not energy. Big difference. And what it's doing is it's reminding you of stuff that you've forgotten in your amnesia. Okay? When you're dealing with plants and animals that you are consuming, and you're consuming them for the body, in order for the body to survive, that is you taking energy from them but you're taking it in the form of their of their uh, their actual physicality so you're killing a plant you're killing an animal you're inserting it into your mouth and your body and you break it down into energy because you are unaware that you can get the same energy by going through your high heart and feed yourself that way or by sun gazing you can do it that way as well that energy you can just cut through the middlemen not do any of that food gathering cooking eating breaking down and through the stomach into the intestinal lining all of that stuff that you do you can cut out the middlemen and go straight into getting a whole lot more energy through your high heart or pulling it from the sun now um you are pulling energy from the sun, but the sun does not mind. It's got so much energy that if every 7 billion humans on the earth got all of the energy that they would ever need for their physical beingness from it, it would be a drop in a bucket. It would be, no, it would be more like a drop in the ocean. It would not 
be significant to the to the sun. So uh, the sun is powerful, powerful amount of energy. Uh, so that is the difference. Whenever you take an herb and you use it in tea form, there is a distinct but subtle difference in the intent. The intent of what you're using it for. There is a little bit of uh, energy that you are taking from the plant itself by the ingesting it, but since there is so little that's broken down and used as energy for this physical body, it doesn't translate as that. It translates that as a message giver. So, um, herbs, um, uh, the same thing is true with, say, um, cats. Cats are really, really good at healing. So they'll come around you whenever you're sick, and they'll, like, lay next to you. You are not, whenever you hold a, a pet of some kind, you are not taking their energy in any way. What they're doing is they're reminding you how to do this for yourself. Now, you don't know that most of the time. Most people don't know that. Yeah, they think that uh, the pet is giving them something, but that's not true. What is happening is the pet is reminding you how to do it yourself. Um, okay, so hopefully that explains the crystal exchange. And um, they want to know, is there an energy exchange between parents and children? If so, how you, can you keep that from happening? If you have a prism child and one of the new serger children, uh, they're not going to allow you to take their energy. So there's no deal. I mean, there's no problem with that. You can try all you want. It's not going to work. They're more like um, that pet situation I was telling you about. They're going to be there if you try to hold them and take energy from them in any way. They're going to be there to remind you of of uh, of things that you should know. All kinds of things. That's what the prisms are here for. And the prisms and the, and the surgery children will not in any way take energy from you. But up until that point... Absolutely, there was complete energy exchange between parents and children um, from both sides. And the children were taught to uh, look up to their parents, please their parents, um, do things for their parents. So, and their parents watch and care for and make sure that the child is doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, there's definitely an inter energy exchange there uh, and has been for a very long time. And when uh, adolescence hits, and this is a prime time where the adolescence hit and they, they start to feel it and they start not wanting it anymore. If somebody is too, and you've heard this, if somebody is too needy, a uh, very needy person, it does not feel good. If somebody is pulling off of you too strongly, too fast, it hurts. So when a child hits adolescence and the parents are on high alert watching for things to go terribly wrong, but that is in, it feels needy, that's pulling energy from that child in that I don't want them to leave home. From a woman's standpoint, I don't want that child to leave. Um, from a father's standpoint, I don't know, they're not ready. But nonetheless, there will be that needy vibration and pull from that child. And it's definitely a connection. And usually it is a pull. It's a vampirical pull. And it gets to the point, after years and years of being in a household, it, it let adolescence, the child has had enough. And they want away from that. They want away from that feeling. And so they'll rebel and eventually leave the home to cut off that, that uh, neediness of the parents. They'll cut it off and then they'll go on their merry way into their own arenas. Um, a lot of times with mates, this will happen. So, uh, uh, there'll be a giving person and there'll be a taking person. That's certainly what I got in both of my marriages was I was very, very giving and in giving and helping someone, husband or someone else, I got a feeling that I was not as bad as I thought I was. I, I hear I was doing good things. So I fed off of that. And then the people who I gave to, of course, fed off my pure energy. Eventually, over time in a relationship like that, the person who is giving will wear out. 
it's like a battery that's overused with nothing uh, with no form of recharge now in the relationships where there's a giving and a taking person but the taking person realizes that they can't take non-stop and that there are uh, moments depending upon the person that they're aware because of this love that they have that there needs to be a give back there needs to be a oops sorry there needs to be a, a pause in time that uh, uh, that's the reason why things like birthdays or holidays or uh, anniversaries anniversaries man save a lot of marriages if the people will do it correctly because you can really recharge a giver really really fast and quickly with a single day of treating them really really well uh, but frequently that's not the way that it happens and eventually the giver will wear out and they can't do it anymore and that will lead to divorce when it comes to children eventually what will happen is the child will feel that pull it's too much and they will pull away and leave home how can you keep that from happening well don't need anything from your child um, trust that your child is a creator God and they know what they're doing your job as a parent is a simple one is to help them learn how to run the skin suit how to learn how to walk how to talk how to interact in society effectively and then support them in whatever they remember instead of saying no 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 listen to them listen to what they've got to say and promote whatever thing that they're remembering because that will lead to more remembering and no more remembering so you admire them like third person from from uh, ob objectively from a way is to watch them not be your energy so incorporated with their energy that they are an individual that you are you just got to think of them that they're they're little um, they're little humans but they're gods in little human form they are gods in human form that's all they are gods just like you they're just like you they're just learning how to how to run things so the curiosity should be um, what kind of human are they are they a long long-term human that you have in your life now have they ever been here before are they uh, mid-range are they on their way up are they on their way down you've got to watch that in in, in uh, objectively and not get too involved in where they are because you can interfere if you interfere then that exchange you'll be pulling from their energy they'll be fighting you on it so um, is it an easy thing no it's not an easy thing at all but you'll get the hang of it you'll be all right in the long run okay um, yeah don't don't be pulling on them listen listen remember you're just teaching them how to run the skin suit that's it the rest of it they came with uploaded with more knowledge than you've got they remember more than what you've got if you listen to them and promote them talking about it you can get them to remember more than you can remember more from listening to them then it's just uh, the two of you sitting together nobody has to pull on anybody else's energy okay hopefully that helped and thank you very much for the questions thank you for watching my videos I really appreciate it thank you so much for your contributions with patreon and PayPal uh, really helps me a lot in my day-to-day -day. Uh, thank you anybody who's, who's asking for sessions or answering questions on an email form I'm so excited to interact with you whenever we do that I really am Okay, that's it, guys. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.